100 rocket attacks all along the front line, mostly in the east, where Russian armed forces continue pushing, specifically in the city of Bakhmut. But Ukrainian forces are pushing Russian forces back in the rest of the line, or it has stabilized in the south, in, this, in Kherson. This is where all eyes are now. Ukrainian forces slowly gaining ground towards the city of Kherson itself. It, it, they, they have um, they announced that they plan to take it by the end of the year. But th there's two challenges that face them ahead. One is the terrain. It is step. Uh, t geography, you can see for miles in every direction. There, your soldiers there are vulnerable to drones, to airstrikes, to artillery. And this is why Ukraine's defense minister said, we are using the tactics of taking back our villages meters and kilometers, step by step, and we will continue to do that. The other issue that faces them is that hydroelectric dam on the Dnipro River. If it were to be blown up, as Ukraine officials say that Russia has mined it in preparation of, of blowing it up to slow the Ukrainian counteroffensive, there would be 80 settlements that would be immediately flooded. We expect a high casualty event to occur. And not only that, but upriver, uh, the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant would also be affected because it uses that water from the Dnipro River to cool itself with the dam being blown up. That water would uh, that water water would, would, would drop, and the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant would have to find an alternative source to cool itself, uh, which it would be a separate uh, kind of disaster scenario if the dam were to blow. All of this is in the context of the Russian armed forces have already evacuated 70,000 people from the right bank of the Dnipro River. They are preparing the defense of the city itself, according to Ukraine's intelligence service, and this is quote the heaviest of battles that lay ahead. Now, all of that is also as we see continued strikes all across the country on infrastructure including in here the capital Kiev there have been air there have been air sirens uh, all day long there's a number of drones that have been uh, detected according to Ukrainian officials this is aided uh, by some of the Western anti-air defense that has been provided, including the German Iris T defense systems, three that were given uh, just the other day. And today we heard from Raytheon CEO that two NASAM, American-made anti-air defense systems, have been given to Ukraine. They have already been installed, and they, uh, as far as we know, are now active trying to defend the skies of Ukraine from incoming missiles and drones.